Well, happy Friday. You made it to the weekend. Looking out over Myrtle Beach right now at the boardwalk. Look at that. A little bit of pollen and haze out there. It's just kind of windy and polleny. Pollen is a word, I don't know, but it is uh, kind of breezy out there, as you can see. Our weather headlines tonight, we're going to see some scattered showers, maybe even a thunderstorm. We do have a beautiful weekend, and actually it's going to be fairly warm next week. Not as warm as this past week, but we're going to be hanging on to the warm weather at least one more week around here. So that is some good news if you like the warm temperatures. Right now, speaking of temperatures, the sea breeze is blowing into our coastal community. So North Myrtle Beach here at 73, Myrtle Beach here at 72, but you go about 10 miles up the road, Conway at 81, Florence here at 82 right now. Our border belt communities in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, so not a bad afternoon if you're heading out and about. We do have some storms to talk about. I'm highlighting the upstate of South Carolina into western North Carolina. This is a tornado watch until 8 o'clock, and we have a few severe thunderstorm warnings. We did have a few tornado warnings with this. This line will be moving into our area overnight tonight, but we're not expecting the severe weather. Maybe a gusty wind uh, or gusty thunderstorm or so, but uh, not expecting the widespread severe weather as we're seeing off to the west. Here's a look at future cast right now. Here's that front moving into the area by 9 p.m. Moving into our PD communities as we get through the afternoon and evening into the early morning hours by 1 a.m. Midnight to 1 a.m. It's going to be moving into the Grand Strand and off the coast. And then overnight, we should start to see a westerly wind develop and everything clears out by Saturday morning for the Myrtle Beach Marathon. So actually, if you're heading out to run or watch, shouldn't be a bad morning at all. We're just going to see some gusty winds tomorrow from time to time with a west and northwest wind. Here's those wind gusts I was telling you about tonight. You can see by 10 p.m., we can see wind gusts anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per hour as this line moves through the area and then it's off the coast and those winds start to come back down. So not too bad. We do have a wind advisory up for the area throughout the night tonight. So if you do hear some wind or rumbling, that is what's going on. After our storms move through, Saturday and Sunday look pleasant as this high pressure moves into the area. We're going to see a completely sunny weekend, even moving into Monday as well. And it's not going to be bad at all. Temperatures going to be in the 70s. If you're heading out tonight to the Myrtle Beach Family Fun Run, we're going to start off around 70 degrees and slowly cool into the 60s with partly cloudy skies, so not bad out there. Our low temperatures tonight are going to be in the 60s around the coast. As you get back into the PD and the Midlands, we're going to be in the mid to upper 50s, so not a bad evening at all. Tomorrow, higher temperatures will be in the 70s area-wide, so honestly, a pretty good Saturday shaping up for the area. Here's a look at that beach forecast. Water temperatures are up to 62. In fact, I actually went to the beach today, y'all, and there were actually some people out in the water, so... Uh, that water, not too bad for them. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. You can see 60s and 70s across the board. We do have a minor shower chance on Tuesday, but overall, not a bad week of weather coming up after we kind of get through tonight and those showers. Yeah, maybe that pollen that Patsy sneezed <laughs> at her too, and we're, we're froggy with. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I played golf yesterday, and the pollen accumulated on my shoes. It was crazy. Yeah, terrible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> we'll be right back.